today I'm back making another one of the gothic arches. Uh, I made a, a gothic arch a couple of months ago on a video. I'll, I'll link that up in the corner there. Um, I'm part of a Facebook group, the UK Stampers Forum, and each month we have um, a different theme that we can make a gothic arch on that theme, upload a picture into the group. We we don't trade them, it's just for fun, and uh, but it's a nice thing to, to participate in. I've been using my um, Sizzix die, my Tim Holtz Alterations arch frame, to cut my um, Gothic arches. There is a template in the, the group um, files, if you want to just, you can print that off and, and cut them out yourself. But I tend to cut um, a, a base out of a grey board, like this, mount board, mat board, something quite sturdy. And then I decorate it in, in whatever way um, I, I see fit, depending on what the theme is. This month, our theme is stitching and sewing. So um, it, it could have imagery to do with that or actual sewing on. And I, that's where I'm going this time. I'm going to do some embroidery, for, for want of a better description, onto my um, arch. I, I had the idea to do something reminiscent of sort of, of string, the 1970s string art, you know, the pictures that we used to have on the wall with little nails and string wrapped around in geometric shapes. So I want to try and emulate that on my arch this time. So I've prepared my, my arch, I've cut out an arch out of grey board and I've backed it with another one that I've cut out of some black card. Um, I could have painted it, but I thought, no, I'll, I'll just... I'll glue a piece of black card on there and that's my base because I want to use some bright coloured threads. Now if you've got some embroidery silks they'd be perfect. I don't have some but I do have some bright coloured sewing threads so I'm going to use those. Now obviously I can't go knocking nails in this, it's not thick enough so what I'm going to do is pierce out some holes and I'm going to stitch through. And when I've finished, I may well then just cover the back with another piece of card to tidy it up on the back. So rather than ruin this by not being sure where I want to put my holes, I've cut out another arch just out of a scrap of paper. And I've marked out where I'm going to pierce some holes. And now these are about five millimetres apart. And I've just sort of mapped out round three sides there because I'm going to want to try and have some stitching here. And I wanted something at the top, so I drew a circle. I just used actually the lid off this pot of Distress Glaze. And originally I was just going to keep it as a circle, but I thought I'd make that into more of a teardrop and it'll actually fill the shape. So again, I just extended that up and at approximately five millimeter spaces, I've marked dots because that's where I'm going to be piercing my holes. And to do that, I shall just be using um, a pokey tool that I've got. So I'll just go grab that and uh, a cutting mat just to protect my table. And I'll get on with marking out the holes ready for my stitching. So lining up my template onto my actual arch, I'm going to work my way round the pattern, piercing the holes. Now to start with, I'm not going to be too concerned whether I go actually all the way through. As long as I've transferred the design onto my card underneath, I can then remove this template and pierce right through, um, or indeed actually with my needle when I come to stitch. So I've transferred my design onto my arch here and I've um, threaded my needle up with some sewing thread. I'm going to be using a double double thread here because it's quite fine and hopefully um, I'm going to be able to stitch through the holes. I'm hoping that my holes are big enough to go through, um, which they should be. And I've tied a little knot, don't want to pull it too tight. Um, I don't want it to come through, but I think that's going to be fine. And just going to work my way um, in a sort of methodical fashion, working my way through the design. 
And basically, for those of you who have not seen this um, before, let me just uh, straighten this thread out. There we go. You move along one hole at a time um, in each direction. So I move down a hole on the side and take my thread to the next hole along on the bottom. And basically this, this creates um, a geometric design. And I'll just have to keep adding in some more thread and I'll just use tape on the back to secure it um, as I go along. So there's one side completed. I'm now going to come in on the other side using the green thread and do exactly the same um, but in reverse. So that's my second side done. And as you can see, you get this beautiful curve as you're going with your, your straight lines as they overlap, they cause this beautiful curve. So now I'm going to do this um, top piece and I'm going to do that in the yellow.
so there we go I've uh, finished the stitching and I'm really happy with that it's nice and it's modern it's 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 interesting I, I do I love the effect of it um just use tail tape on the back to hold down any of the loose ends and obviously because this is a bit rough and ready I'm going to cut another um arch out of the black card and just back it with that to finish it off uh, in the meantime I'm, I'm trying to decide do I want a little sentiment in there I'm just going to grab my stickers and see if I can find something that goes with this style of art so these are the small talk stickers and I'll just have a little look if there's something that I think is going to work quite well. I feel it needs just a little something on there. Pretty. So I'll just trim that down slightly. So there we go, um, something a little bit different. I'm sure all of us have got some sewing threads and a needle in the house. And it's just another way of adding some decoration. Um, this, this would look nice on a tag or a card, perfect for ATCs, anything quite small because it is fairly time consuming. But I thought that this was a really nice interpretation of the stitching and sewing theme that we've got this month in the group. So, so I'll leave a link um, to the previous Gothic Arch. I think I've done one video. I've made a couple, but I'm sure I only videoed one. But I'll leave a link to that in the corner and you take a look at that if you want to. And in the meantime, if you enjoyed this one, um, leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So thanks for watching. Bye.